so what I'm going to do is explain a variable. Okay, so let's say that I write a number here. Okay, so I have written a number here, and you don't know what it is. So I'm going to call this P. It's called a variable. So remember, a variable is a letter, in this case we use P, that represents something we don't know. We don't know. Remember, I wrote the number down on the piece of paper, I folded it up, and I wrote P. A variable is a letter that represents something that we don't know. Okay? Now, let's look at an equation to find the variable. Okay, so let's look at the, an equation. So let's take 2 plus P equals 7. Okay, that's an equation. That's an equation. Remember, the first step we want to do is we want to isolate the variable. In other words, we want to get it by itself. In order to do that, we need to identify the operation, the math operation. There are four math operations. There's multiplication, division, subtraction, and addition. Multiplication, we sometimes see with an X, like times, or sometimes we see it as a dot, sometimes we see it as parentheses, or sometimes we'll just see it with the number next to the variable. Those all mean multiplication. Division, sometimes we'll see like this, and sometimes we'll see it with a slash, and then sometimes we'll see it with a bar that looks like a fraction. That's all division. Subtraction is the minus sign, and addition is the plus sign, okay? Remember, we want to do the inverse, inverse, the inverse operation, or the opposite operation. So let's look at the inverse. So the inverse operation of multiplication is division. The inverse operation of subtraction is addition. The inverse operation of addition is subtraction. The inverse operation of division is multiplication. So these are the steps. We want to isolate the variable, identify the math operation, and then do the opposite. So let's go through this equation. So we have two plus P equals seven. So we identify the variable, it's P, represents something we don't know. So this equation means if we add two to something we don't know, it will give us seven. So let's do the, let's find the operation. It's, see the plus sign, so that tells us it's addition. Now, we want to do the inverse. So the inverse of this operation, the inverse of addition is subtraction. So we have P plus 2 equals 7. It's the same thing. So we want to do the inverse, which is taking away 2. And we have to do that on both sides. And this is going to leave us P. And when we do the math, it's going to give us 5. So we have P is equal to 5. We've solved our equation.
Okay, now we've resolved one kind of equation. The next kind of equation is a two-step equation. And a two-step equation would look like this. Now, it's called a two-step equation because there are two operations. There are two operations, okay? Remember, we still want to go through the steps. We want to isolate P. We want to isolate P. So in order to do that, we need to identify the two operations we have. So the first operation we have is addition, and we also have multiplication. Now, let's solve this equation. And again, we solve the equation by isolating the variable and doing the inverse operations. So this is the first operation is addition. So we do the opposite or the inverse, which is subtraction. Okay, let's do the math. So we bring this all the way down. This is the inverse, so it goes away. We bring our sign down, and now we do the math, and this is 10. This is step one of the two-step equations. So we have to do this again. We have to look at the other operation, which in this case is multiplication. We do the inverse, which is division. So we, this is two multiplied by P, so we need to divide the inverse. So we do that on both sides. Two multiplied by P, divided by P. These two cancel out. You're left with P equals, and we do the math, P equals five. That is the solution. So remember earlier when I wrote a number and I put a variable here and I called it P? Let's see what that number is that I wrote down. So that number is five. So that's a way to solve for our variable.